On Mount Sicker, 9-11 showing, and this is what we call the 9-11 zone west. Down there we have the east showings. This is the west. You have a 20 meter wide area where you have what looks like svalerite and pyrite stringers with a bit of calcopyrite as well going all the way up from edge of my truck down to where that flag is. And here in this area we've got quartz along the bottom of here and all in here. Some massive sulfides. And I just broke this piece out here too. We'll get this one out here and show you. So you have a very deformed schist with quartz, you got calcopyrite, pyrite, and what looks like salarite. And this is in this area here that we've exposed so far, about two and a half meters. So we're finding the, the quartz everywhere else on the outside. Looks like stringers, other than a bit of quartz. So we're gonna pull this out. I'm gonna get this out of the way because it's a little unstable. And then we're gonna break a bunch of this off. I'm gonna try and get these big rocks away from our heads. Almost got it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Success. And now we can get this piece off without it falling on our heads. So this boulder that we pulled out of here, see the calcopyrite, some boronite in there. And this is parallel to your quartz veining here. Another piece we hammered off. You see the quartz with the calcopyrite. The bulk of the mineralization is with your quartz. So what it looks like is you have the veins widening as they go down and up at the surface they appear to pinch out right up at the top here and they're a mix of sulfides calcopyrite and pyrite in your schistos rock and lots of quartz where you have quartz you have the highest mineralization so you can see clots of calcopyrite where your quartz is more in there this is all quartz here, and this is a piece that we're going to pull out. Again, this is all quartz in here, and you can see loaded with sulfides, and that's pretty consistent with what you see from about here up to over there. See the calcopyrite. 
And more we've pulled out from here. You see quartz with what looks like sphalerite. We got chalcopyrite and we got pyrite in there. From right here. Pulling off some more here. Break off a couple chunks from this. You have your quartz, pyrite, calco pyrite, and sphalerite. Break a few more off. Pulled off a few more samples here. Pretty consistent mineralization with the pyrite, calcopyrite, and sphalerite. Here's a, another chunk I'm planning on pulling out. From down here, we pulled another sample. Quartz with same sulfides. So I'm about five meters away from that last sample area and I just pulled out some more quartz with pyrite, sphalerite, calcopyrite. You do have quartz and sulfide stringers in this 20 plus meter wide area. You can see the sulfides. throughout all the schists and you have some quartz in areas cutting up through this as well but nothing like you have over there where J2 is working. The quartz there and then going up farther on the other side of the quartz veining, you have more stringers of sphalerite, pyrite, and calcopyrite. And yes, we took out this whole area and it goes all the way up. Here. See, there's quartz up here too. See the stringers in the bedrock. And as you get to right around this little corner area here, you have a rock contact and your mineralization stops. This 
So this is the 911 zone, the west portion. And you have mineralization from five meters past J2 all the way over there. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.